Yo, what's up guys, it's King Sean here, back with another video, and in today's video, I will be previewing the Commanders preseason week 2 game against the Dolphins on Saturday. I'll be telling you guys what to watch for that game tomorrow, and more. So, if you guys are new to my channel, leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications, I'm on the road of 4k sub, so if you could, hit that sub button, I'd really appreciate it. And with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. All right, so let's start with Jaden Daniels. Obviously, we're going to be watching him in tomorrow's preseason game. I'm not sure how long he's going to play for. I know, obviously, he only played a drive last week against the Jets, and it was a really good drive from Jaden Daniels in the offense. If I had to guess, I feel like he plays two drives, maybe even a quarter. I know Drake May last night, he played the entire second quarter for the Patriots in like half of the third quarter. So maybe we give Jaden Daniels one full quarter or maybe we give him two drives, but we shall see what Dan Quinn does. But Jaden Daniels, super excited to see what he does tomorrow. Obviously yesterday in our joint practice with the Dolphins, he had five consecutive touchdowns against the Dolphins defense in the red zone, which is super, super impressive. I don't even know if a rookie court, not even a rookie quarterback, sorry, a veteran quarterback has done that before. I mean, probably, but I don't know the last time a veteran quarterback has done that before. Five consecutive touchdowns in the red zone. I mean, that's just insane. So uh, Jaden Daniels, he showed out yesterday against the Dolphins, and I have no doubt that he'll continue to show out throughout the rest of preseason. I don't think he'll play um, against the Patriots in our week three preseason matchup with them, but he's going to play tomorrow. The question is, is, you know, how long he's going to play. And then obviously he's going to be named the starter. The question is just when. If I had to guess, it's probably going to be maybe on Monday, which is when we have practice again after our preseason game tomorrow. So we shall see. But uh, I am excited to see, you know, how Jaden Daniels performs tomorrow. Excited to see, you know, his decision making who he throws the ball to, the connection he has with his receiver. So excited to see all that. All right, the next thing I'm going to keep my eye on is the wide receiver competition. Who steps up at wide receiver this weekend? That is going to be very, very important. Dan Quinn said in his press conference right now that there is a competition at the wide receiver two spot. Obviously, we know Tier McLaurin is our wide receiver one, but who's going to be across from him? Will it be Olamide Zacchaeus? Will it be Deami Brown? Will it be Jahan Dotson? Will it be Luke McCaffrey? We don't know, so we got to see which one of those guys step up this weekend and for the remainder of training camp and preseason. Jahan Dotson, he's going to get a whole lot of reps, well, snaps this weekend. Um, he played until, what, I'm pretty sure the second quarter, uh, last game against the Jets. So this game, well, tomorrow against the Dolphins, he's going to play probably the same amount. Uh, Olamide Zacchaeus, Yami Brown, they'll get a lot of snaps as well. Same with Luke McCaffrey. I hope Luke McCaffrey gets a lot of snaps early on because he didn't really get snaps until like the third quarter so hopefully he gets a lot early on but uh yeah it's going to be interesting to see the wide receiver competition tomorrow I feel like Jahan Dotson still will be our wide receiver too come week one but hey man it's it's really open right now I'm rooting for Jahan but hey Deami Brown might get that spot at wide receiver too maybe Olamide Zacchaeus if Olamide Zacchaeus is our wide receiver too then we have a problem all right we definitely have a problem at wide receiver so I'm rooting for Jahan like I said uh, but it's an open competition right now. And I feel like Dan Quinn in this press conference, he was kind of trying to light a fire under Jahan to, you know, keep competing, keep working hard, keep doing the things he needs to do in order to win the wide receiver two spot. So hopefully Jahan does that. Hopefully he can get his confidence back. He even said in um, his little media scrum yesterday that he's trying to find a way to get his confidence back. Um, so, you know, hopefully he does. And I feel like he will. Uh, so hopefully, you know, Jahan Dotson, he can get that wide receiver two spot because I still have a lot of faith in Jahan. He just needs to keep working hard. Um, you know, he, he has, he has his weaknesses. Okay. He's not the biggest guy. He's, he's small. He's 5'10", I think 180, 185 pounds. He's not very physical. Um, and I feel like maybe he's not a, a, an exact fit in Cliff Kingsbury's offense, or maybe he is. They just need to find, you know, the best way to utilize Jahan Dotson. Maybe they can utilize him the same way Jaden Reed is utilizing the Packers offense. We shall see, but I'm really rooting for Jahan Dotson, like I said. Uh, so hopefully he wins that wide receiver two spot, but it could go to anyone at this point. It'll also be interesting to see what Martavis Bryant has in store for us tomorrow. Uh, you know, hasn't played in an NFL game since 2018, so... You know, we'll see what he does tomorrow. Maybe he makes a couple nice catches, some blocks. We shall see. I know he made a nice block in um, 11v11 drills a couple of days ago in practice. Uh, so that's really the only thing we've heard about him so far, though. So hopefully, you know, he can make some nice plays on Saturday. I don't think he'll make the 53-man roster, but he could make the practice squad 
if he does make some nice plays throughout the remainder of training camp and in the preseason. So we shall see what he does in our preseason game against the Dolphins. Next up, I want to see how our DBs perform. I'm not sure if the Dolphins are playing their starting wide receivers, Jalen Waddle, Tyreek Hill. I know Mike McDonald said, well, not sorry, not Mike McDonald, Mike McDaniel said that he is going to play some of the Dolphins starters, but he just doesn't know which ones yet. So maybe Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle play. Uh, but we shall see. I think Jalen Waddle is actually um, dealing with a minor injury right now. I'm not sure. Uh, but we'll see if the Dolphins play their starting receivers. Even if they don't, though, I don't think they have bad, you know, depth at all. They have Taj Washington, Malik Washington, who they they both they drafted both of them. They're rookies. I'm pretty sure they drafted them like the sixth round, seventh round. And they have other guys as well. I know OBJ is still on the NFI or pup list, so he's injured right now. He's not going to play. So they got some solid depth receivers. I think they have Braxton Berrios as well i'm pretty sure that's his name so they don't have bad deaf wide receivers so emmanuel forbes just do not get cooked don't get cooked deep don't give up a touchdown just do your job and emmanuel forbes he i didn't hear his name at all yesterday in joint practice he and jeremy chin did make a nice pass breakup yesterday each um so that's really the only thing i've heard about emmanuel i heard about emmanuel forbes yesterday which is good if your name isn't called or if your name is not reported then that means you did your job um, you did not get cooked at all, um, which is a really good thing. I don't think Benjamin St. Juice, well, Benjamin St. Juice did get cooked this one time by Tyreek Hill yesterday, but uh, Tua overthrew the pass, so it was incomplete. So BSJ only really had one bad play we heard about yesterday, and other than that, you know, he was pretty good for the most part. And then Michael Davis didn't hear his name at all yesterday, so that's pretty good. Mikey Sand was still. Want to see how he performs tomorrow? He had a great day yesterday. He had a nice pass breakup against Tyreek Hill. I'm pretty sure in red zone drills, and also had a nice TFL. Um, so, hey man, Mikey Sanders, so he is the real deal. I said it yesterday. I think in a couple years from now, maybe one or two years from now, he's gonna be one of, if not the best slot nickel cornerback in the NFL. So, super excited to see how Mikey Sanders still plays. Also. Who's going to be maybe our fifth, sixth cornerback? Noah Igbenogany. He had a nice game against the Jets um, last week. He's also made a couple of nice plays during practice so far this training camp. So I think he makes the roster. Tariq Castro Fields, he was show, showing out early on in training camp. Really haven't heard much of him since. So hopefully, you know, he can show out tomorrow. And then who else we have here? James Pierre. Maybe he can bounce back. Chig Newsom haven't heard too much of him. Caillou Blue Kelly, probably not going to make the roster. And then you have Nick Whiteside, who probably isn't going to make the roster as well. Terrell Owens, super excited to see how he plays tomorrow. He had a really, really, really good game against the Jets last week. I think he was like our highest graded uh, player last week against the Jets, which is super impressive. He made some nice tackles in special teams as well as on the defense. And he had some nice plays yesterday against the Dolphins in our joint practice with them. So, hey, man. T Tyler Owens, he keeps performing like this. I feel like he will find his way onto the 53-man roster because if you're an undrafted free agent, the best way to make this roster is, you know, showing off your special teams abilities. And Tyler Owens has done that as well as show off his abilities on defense as well. So I feel like Tyler Owens, he keeps playing well. He will make the 53-man roster. All right, so next up, I will definitely be keeping an eye on who we have out there as our kick returners and punt returners. And you guys should too because last week, we had, I want to say, Davion Davis and Olamide Zacchaeus returning some punts. Davion Davis was returning some kicks, as well as Byron Pringle. So that's really interesting. No Jameson Crowder mentioned right there. That's because he didn't return punts or kicks last week, which is really interesting to me. I feel like he's our best punt returner on the roster right now. Uh, he showed it last year, in my opinion. He had some nice punt returns, including that like 60-yarder against the Falcons. Almost went to it for a touchdown, but he got tackled inside of the five yard line but that was a really nice return last year against the Falcons so I feel like James Crowder hopefully we will give him some punt returns this week because I feel like if he just shows something in the punt return game or maybe in the kick return game then he will get you know the sixth wide receiver spot but if not then he could not make the roster so we shall see with him uh, like I said with Byron Pringle re-signed him for one reason and one reason only to try him out at kick returner and he had a, he had a nice I want to say 32 yard return last year or, I mean last week against the Jets so um that's pretty good right there so Byron Pringle he could make the roster as our sixth wide receiver and beat our kick return so we shall see but uh yeah definitely gonna be keeping an eye on the return game this week all right last but certainly not least Riley Patterson we all have to have our eyes on Riley Patterson tomorrow Saturday because we cut Remy's Ahmed so 
Dan Quinn, this coaching staff, they're giving Riley Patterson a chance to kind of win the kicking job. I mean, to come out here, impress this week. He impressed yesterday, not going to lie. He made all three of his kicks, all from 50-plus yards. They were from 51, 53, and 56 yards. So that is pretty impressive right there. I don't think we've had anyone make like a 56-yarder in the past couple years. So that's really good right there from Riley Patterson. But he has to make his kicks in game. Last week, he missed an easy 39-yard field goal, which is insane. I mean, every kicker in the NFL, no matter who you are, should be able to make a 50, I mean, not a 59, 39-yard field goal. So the fact that he, he even doinked the field goal, like off the goal post, which is insane. Riley Patterson, you got to make all your kicks on Saturday, which is tomorrow, against the Miami Dolphins. And if you do, then we'll go from there. Um, if you don't, then we'll probably bring in a kicker or two in the next couple of weeks because a lot of NFL teams have uh, two kickers or two or more kickers on their roster. So maybe they cut some kickers and then some kickers will be available, which we can then pick up off of waivers or in obviously, you know, free agency as free agents. So yeah, Riley Patterson, you got to make all your kicks tomorrow. And if you don't, then, you know, maybe we release him and maybe we bring in some new kickers, but we shall see. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications, comment down below what you guys will be looking for tomorrow in our preseason game against the Dolphins. Other than that, it's been King Sean, and I'm out. Peace.